Hey everyone, my name is Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my October TBR and I am officially bringing back the roll the dice game. I am so excited about this. Since I haven't done this in a couple months, I'm going to go over the rules really quick. It's a super easy game. I have a whiteboard and I have 12 spaces on that whiteboard and in each space there is the name of a book that is on my shelves that I have not read yet and the different colors I mean it belongs to a different category that I have written out here. So classic, self-published, uh, sequels, thrillers, general fiction, etc. And I can change up the categories every month if I'd like to, but that's the categories for this month. So I'm going to roll the dice 10 times and end up with 10 books on my TBR. And that does not mean I am going to read all 10. It just means that those are the 10 I am going to choose from to read for this month. So it allows a little bit of mood reading, which is really nice to have. So each time I I roll a number, I pick that book off of my TBR, and then I erase the book and replace it with a new one that matches that category. Pretty simple. So before we get to the game, I do have one book I'm currently in the middle of that I'm hoping to finish before October, but if I don't, it'll be the first book that I finish in October, so I wanted to mention it, and it is Winds of Strife by Yuji Gutman. So my copy, unfortunately, um, my dog uh, found it and seem to really, really want to just devour this book. So mine has a nice chunk uh, out of this gorgeous cover. I'm so sad because this cover is stunning and it's still totally intact. Like I can read it totally fine. Um, it's just this one little corner. So thank you to my dog for that lovely gift. But I am only about 100 pages away from finishing this book, and you guys, I am loving it. I am so excited to talk about it in my wrap-up, hopefully, uh, if I can finish it, because I have so much to say. <laughs> it's so good. So hopefully we'll be finished uh, before October, but if not, it will be the very first book I do finish in October. All right, so now let's get to rolling the dice and see which books I have to choose from for this month. excited about this month. Um, I have a lot of great books to choose from, so I'm going to go through the different categories. Let's talk about the two self-published books I have on the TBR, the first being The Thunder Heist by Jed Hearn. This was so kindly sent to me by the author to read and review, and I'm very excited to get to it. It sounded very unique. It says, A Relentless Thief, An Impossible Heist. Meet Kef, Pirate, Monster Slayer, Scourge of the Twisted Seas. After a lifetime of running 
returning from her past, she's returned to Zorith, a tangled jungle of a thousand boats, all lashed together to make a floating city ship. That sounds so cool. Zorith is powered by a device that draws energy from lightning. Mysterious, unique, and locked in an unbreachable tower, it's the envy of Zorith's rivals. And Kef, she's here to steal it. Sounds super cool. The world building sounds very unique with this city of ships all latched together. That sounds awesome. So I'm really excited to get to this one and it's not too long, so I can definitely fit it in. And then I also have uh, Nine of Swords by Brooklyn Quintana. This was also so kindly sent to me by the author. And this one, it's not short, <laughs> this is really big. Like you could take someone out with this book. So it says, welcome to the Morancy Academy of Military Arts. As one of our students, we expect that you will fight till the end and win by any means necessary. Now that you're here, there are a few things you should be made aware of. Firstly, be mindful of the water's edge. The mermaids are not always to be trusted and the dolphins are quite unreliable. Second, try not to get lost in the catacombs. Should you wander too far, your safety cannot be guaranteed. And remember, be wary of the jungle. The trees like to rearrange themselves and do steer clear of the vines, lest you not return from your adventure intact or even alive. We hope to see you at the end of your games should you make it that far. This sounds awesome. Sounds like it's kind of that fantasy game trope that is always fun to read about. So I'm really excited for both of these. I think they both sound awesome. Next category I have is classics. And these two classics are so appropriate, I feel like, for October. So the first is Dracula by Bram Stoker. This has been on my TBR for a very long time now. And I am excited to finally be picking it up. Uh, this one, I feel like needs no introduction. Everybody kind of knows what Dracula is about and I'm excited. I really like vampires. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is a good one. And then the next one I have is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which also really needs no introduction. Everybody knows what Frankenstein is about and I'm very excited to finally be getting to it. I've heard that Frankenstein is a fantastic place to start for classics. So I feel like if I'm having trouble with Dracula, maybe I'll put that one down and come to Frankenstein. So we'll see. It's not too long either, um, but I'm very excited to finally have the opportunity to pick this one up. The next category I have is sequels. So the first one is A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. This is the second book in the Texcalon duology. I really enjoyed A Memory Called Empire that I read last year, the year before, I don't remember. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, even though it was very dense, very sci-fi heavy, um, had a lot of very intricate world building. I thought it was fascinating. I loved the technology that was introduced. I personally loved the world building in it, and I loved the politicking. I've heard that this is more of a first contact with aliens kind of story, which is always something I enjoy. So I'm very excited to be getting to this one and getting back into this world. I just know that the writing's probably gonna be pretty dense again, so I have to be in the right mood for it. But I would really, really like to finish off this duology for sure. And the next one I have is Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. This has been on my shelves for a very long time now. And I think I've just kept putting it off because it's kind of a spin-off sequel from Kings of the Wild. Um, so I didn't feel like I had to have Kings of the Wild fresh in my mind. I felt like I could kind of take my time getting to the sequel, but it's about time I finally put this on my TBR. So I'm really excited to get to this. This follows um, from the Kings of the Wild. Our main character's daughter is in kind of her own band, if you will and it's following her adventure with her bandmates and I'm really excited about it. I thought Kings of the Wild was just a lot of fun. It had this very lighthearted tone to it while just being a really fun adventure journey story so I'm hoping to get the same kind of vibes from Bloody Rose. Yeah, next category I have is thrillers slash horrors. The first being The Troop by Nick Cutter. I've heard so much hype around this book. I feel like this is talked about a lot on booktube at least from the channels that I've followed before, so I'm really excited to finally be getting to this. I've heard it's very gruesome, lots of body horror, pretty creepy, and that sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so I feel like this is a great October read. Very, very glad I landed on it. And then the other one, I don't know if you technically qualify this as like a horror novel. I 
think it's more horror than anything else. It's The Road by Cormac McCarthy. My husband actually read this last year and hearing him talk about it, even though it sounded extremely depressing, I really wanted to read it for myself. Uh, it's a journey with this father and son kind of in this dystopian world. It sounds horrible and tragic and sad, but, <laughs> but I feel like I might really enjoy it. Um, so sometimes I like a good hard-hitting novel. I definitely just have to be in the right mood for it. So <laughs> this will be my first Cormac McCarthy book. I've definitely been wanting to read it for a long time now. And the last category I have is general fiction. So for those, I rolled Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. I think I had seen Reagan from Peru's Project talk about this, and she, I think, really enjoyed it, and I've been wanting to read it. Um, I don't know too much about it. I believe it's about this child who kind of washes ashore, and she had died, but she's back to life, something like that. It sounds really literary and beautiful, and I feel like I might really enjoy it. Sometimes I'm really in the mood for this kind of book. Um, so we'll see if I end up getting to this one. Then the last one that I rolled was Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. So this one I've had for a while now because Leanne Moriarty is an auto buy author for me. I love Big Little Lies. Big Little Lies is my favorite by her by far, but I also have loved everything else I've read by her, including My Husband's Secret, What Alice Forgot, Three Wishes. I, I think all of those are fantastic. I always have a good time with her book. So I'm really hoping I enjoy this one. I've heard very mixed reviews on it. Not a lot of people seem to love this one, so it might be one of her weaker books, but I kind of always just want to give her books a try because I just have fun with them. And I know that this recently got turned into a TV show on Hulu, so I've heard a lot of good things about the TV show. I think it's quite different from the book, but I haven't seen the TV show at all yet. I don't want to see it until I read the book, so hopefully I enjoy this one. Hopefully it's just a good time. So those are all of the books that I I have to choose from for the month of October. Did you see any that you think I should totally prioritize for this month? What do you want me to read the most out of these? And then did, have you read any of them? What did you think of them? I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!